So yesterday we were in the deep south of Alabama, in Mobile, Alabama, and today we're going to go back up about the middle part of the United States. We're going to take a look at Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I got not one but two Gatlinburg post folding postcards here. We're going to take a look at and see what they got in them. Y'all stick around. Now Gatlinburg ranks up there along with uh, Chattanooga with me in, um, let's just say, Tennessee Attractions. It's been about, oh, 13, 14 years ago since I was in Gatlinburg. We spent about a week there and really enjoyed ourselves. And, and a week, to me, it wasn't even enough to see all of Gatlinburg and neighboring Pigeon Forge and all the attractions and uh, restaurants and that sort of thing. We missed out on a good bit of stuff. So we're going to go back here in the next couple of years. We kind of planned on it. But I got two postcards, folding postcards here. This one is postmarked. 1976 or 1978 and this one does not have a postmark so let's go ahead and let's, let's start off with this one here again yeah, looking up airport road showing the space needle space needle is pretty cool um there's a little arcade at the bottom and pay a couple bucks right the elevator to the top and walk around and see the mountains and see all the people down on the city streets and yeah, it's been a couple minutes and go back down. There's a little bit more about Gatlinburg. If you'd like to take a read on that, go right ahead. And there's the sky lift. And the sky lift, when the, um, uh, when the mountains up there caught on fire, all the trees and stuff, that bad, bad fire they had, the upper station of this skylift got damaged pretty good so they pretty much redid all the whole system the, the skyline the uh, new towers everything got redone they actually, the company actually built more up that way and this is a double chair lift now that's not that's not the one in town this is the one from in town this is um Ober Gatlinburg, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Ober Mountain now, but everybody else calls it Ober Gatlinburg. I'll still call it Ober Gatlinburg. But it takes you up to the top of the mountain. You kind of there's a little restaurant type snack bar for at the top of the mountain. You can sit there for a little bit, hang out, come back down, that sort of thing. And there is a air view of Gatlinburg in your downtown area. Got the little creek that runs by through here, and right now in this area is the big um, aquarium pretty interesting aquarium we like that aquarium it's one, one of our top five aquariums and there's a space needle again and ski slope at a Gatlinburg ski resort and restored mountain farmstead near Gatlinburg And there's the aerial tramway that takes you up to over Gatlinburg or Ober Mountain now. Got the fall colors on the old country road. And this is looking down from the Space Needle. Entrance to the park at Gatlinburg. And the terminal of the Skylift. That's that first Skylift we looked at hanging out up there, enjoying the sights and sounds and beauty of nature. Let's take a look at this next one we got here. There's no postmark on it. There's just a little bit of information about it there. If you'd like to pause and read it, go right ahead. And there's a space needle. And there's a chairlift right there. It goes up the mountain. This is the part that caught fire. Now they rebuilt all this, a new gift shop and overlook, and they have one of those glass bridges that goes across this holler right here. And I forgot what's on the other side of it, but you can go across to the glass bridge. It's 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 interesting. I've never done it yet, but I've seen a couple of videos. If you got a fear of heights, I don't recommend it though. Another overlook of the city. There's the parkway. You look right there that is the um over gatlinburg that's the sky lift it goes up this way up the mountain to the top of the mountain there's another view 
That is from that tramway. Okay, yeah, you can see there's the there's the entrance we just saw right there. Another view of it. And that is a, a Sheraton Hotel now, I believe, or still is a Sheraton Hotel. It made it through the fire. Another view of the downtown. Another view of the mountainside and that hotel poking out. A little Pigeon River entering Gatlinburg. That little river flows kind of right there on the outskirts of town. There's got a little couple of hotel motels sitting right there, old school motel hotels that you can get a room with a balcony and sit out there and drink your coffee in the morning, listen to the water go by. There's the entrance to the Great Smoky Mountains again. There's the tramway. Another fall leaves changing. There's a night view. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm not if they still do it. That little the small ski lift in town. Yeah, I think one ticket or one. Um, admission fee whatever it is i think you can go up there twice so what we did when we were there we did it in the morning time or mid-morning and that evening when it got dark out and everything we rode it back up the mountain just to see all the lights and everything because it's, it's it's a good bit i can't think of how far above the uh the city streets you are but you're you're a good ways up there and all the, the lights and and you know it, it was it was night, neat looking to have all the lights kind of down below and the mountains off the behind it was dark and it was just a cool little thing you know Gatlinburg is one of the towns if you go to go ahead and, and easily spend a week there um, there's lots of things to do plenty of attractions and from the Dollywood and Pigeon Forge right next door Sierville has some things you know the aquarium ripley's believe it or not there's all kinds of just quirky roadside attractions and and things you can go blow your money on and hate yourself later for or blow your money on love it you know it's just one of those little tourist towns it's, it's never going to go away it's, it's always going to have some of the old style stuff and you know new style stuff so yeah these postcards here don't really go into the you know the attractions themselves sadly but it kind of goes over just the area of Gatlinburg. So, anyways, so that right there actually concludes as the seventh episode in that mailbag Monday of these folding postcards I got. So I got all 22 of them done with this video here. Kind of didn't mean to get 22 at one time in that video, but now we got them all opened up and you can take a look at them. And you know, if you ever been to Gatlinburg. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't like about it in the comment section below. You know, do you plan on going back? I'm trying to, we're going to try to go back in, in four to five years. It's in our plans. But, uh, yeah. So that kind of concludes this little series of folding postcards from that Mailbag Monday I got last week. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And like always, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.